presented by Church Tech U, it's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, how to distort text for ProPresenter. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn more about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford, and before we get started, if you'd like to learn more about ProPresenter and related stuff, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you can be the first to learn the new tips and tricks I share. A lot of the questions I answer here come from all the church tech groups I'm a part of. This one comes from John Taylor in... CMG Visual Church Media. He asks, Help! I need to stretch some text in ProPresenter out of proportion, but it won't let me. Any tricks? Well, uh, Paul Tizer suggested a screen cap, and while that would work, you'll get the background along with the text. So let me show you a different, but inspired by that idea, way to do it. The first thing we're going to do is create a document. I think the best practice here is to create one that is the size of your output screen. I'm pretty close to 720p. It's actually a computer screen, so it's a little off. But let's just go with that, 1280 by 720 and create. OK, first thing here is we need to go to the layers and let's just disable that shall we create a new one yep there we go okay so that gives us this now I'm gonna actually click here to get just black and let's say that I wanted to do my website name I've clicked on that and that's actually pretty huge so let's hold down command to make it smaller and then move this over. By the way, that's control on a PC. So that's still pretty large, but given what we want to do, we can scale this down. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the lorem ipsum text. Um, and let's I'm gonna put in my website here. Trinity Digital media.com okay let's change the color to white and holding down command let me move this over and make that smaller it's still way too big so make it smaller once again you'll notice with command held down control on a PC I can do some good scaling to get it down to the size that I want it to be okay there we go that's the size that I want it to be, give or take. Before I leave here, I can apply any of the text effects that I would want to apply. So let's go to character here. And let's actually play with this here change the tracking okay. 
so that gives us a little more space between letters. I could get it really close or I could get it really wide. Let's leave it kind of wide-ish. And if I wanted to just go ahead and do everything in here, nothing wrong with that. But the reason that I created this in Photoshop is so that I could export it as a PNG and bring it into ProPresenter and do the final tweaks there. So let's go to, well, first let's make sure that that has taken and go to File, Export. Quick Export as PNG would do it or I could click uh, export as and then I'll have a little bit more control so in case the PNG doesn't come up and transparency doesn't come up these two are the important pieces right here PNG portable network graphics and transparency make sure that those are set and then I'm gonna click export all I could rescale it, change the canvas size, etc. So I'm going to call this TDM text. Just going to save that to the desktop just for now. There's no better time than right now to invest in yourself and your team. Imagine what your weekend services would be like if you were confident that whoever was running ProPresenter could face any challenge quickly and easily. Imagine not having to train new people, but being able to give them access to training that will get them ready without you having to lift a finger or answer a single question. If that sounds like a dream come true, I've created ProPresenter and other church tech courses and resources just for you. If you'd like to get access to all of them and other church tech related resources for only a dollar for the first month and join a private community of other church techies just go to tdm.fyi slash ctu tutorial i'm always adding more content and answering new questions so head over and start your first month today at only a dollar the only thing you have to lose is all the time you're wasting spending looking for answers and training your team with what you eventually learn Oh, and now I've added a multi-site license at a special price, so check that out too. And if you'd rather pay with a purchase order, just scroll down below the prices on the same page and click Pay with the PO. Now back to the tutorial. Okay. Let's go ahead and hide Photoshop and go back into here. Now let me right-click here and edit slide what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this which as you see is part of the lower third that I created entirely in ProPresenter um, right now I think I'm going to actually just drag that off so that it's still there and then we're going to go up here to this guy add image to slide And not that one, not there. Desktop is where I put it. There it is. Click select and bring it in. And as you can tell, that's way too big. No problem. I can scale it down. But what I actually want to do is also make sure it's exactly right Okay, 
uncheck constrain proportions and see that allows me to stretch it or squish it so if I wanted it squished again this gear icon at the end is where I want it and by default it's one of these three you need to change it to custom scale and you need to change it uncheck constrain proportions and that's what enables you to distort the text now we can go back to the transition and add a build in for that guy. Let's have it push in, but we want it to push in right to left instead of left to right. And this text element, I need to get rid of that, so I'm going to go back to default on it. And actually, instead of push in, let's change that to a wipe in. Okay. So now, let me click on show up here. And you'll see that it did that and it's all squished and stuff down there. So that's a good way to distort text. You're actually not doing everything in ProPresenter. You're creating the text as an image in another piece of software and then bringing that in to ProPresenter and distorting it there. If you don't have Photoshop, take a look at some of the alternatives like Pixelmator, the GIMP, or maybe even Canva. The secret here is you want to be able to export it as a PNG file without a background, not a JPEG. If you like this video and want to see more like it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. But if you really want to level up your ProPresenter knowledge and want me to help train the people at your church or organization, don't forget, just go to tdm.fyi slash ctu tutorial and join for the first month for just a dollar and for free for the first month for the yearly and multi-site plans. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.